Hello everybody. This is my entry for Lady Ha's Fake Beach Challenge. So when you issued the challenge, it got me thinking that if the people in the Commonwealth were as silly as the people we have today, they would probably go to a beach where you could get a fake radiation tan. So there's our little beach. And you can come over here and get a nice tan. Hey, dude. So here's a tanning booth in here. Pretty basic. There's another spot in here. There's a little balcony if you want to get even closer. The plants aren't doing too good. I wonder why. And in here is the generator. The water's back behind there. And over here is the maintenance shed where the employees can go to do their work. We have some laundry stuff here and a chem station in the workshop. And if you need to come and pop a little rat away, that's okay. All in a day's work. And to continue with the theme of the day spa, you can take the rickety bridge across the pond and check out the sauna. So this is in the original shack that was here. It was a little shack with a broken toilet. So you can come in here and use the nice fresh radioactive water to get a good steam, extra seating. And then you could head on over to Killer Cuts and get a haircut, and you can visit the face fixers. They're all ready to make you beautiful. So that's all I was going to build, but then things got out of hand, as they tend to do, because obviously this place needs a guard station. So we built a guard station up on top, that seemed the logical place to put it so they would have a good line of sight. They can hang out up here and play checkers or whatever. There's a little guard station up here. And the guard can sleep over here. Basic little bedroom. Place to hang out, have a beer after work. They can play darts. Another little bedroom in here. They have a cat. I don't know where the cat is. This is the back exit, emergency exit up there that goes to Outpost Zimonja. So the settlers here are very proud of their little beach. They've been working hard to improve the place. They've been planting lots of flowers and growing some of their own food. And she's hard at work there on the flowers. And in here is the gift shop and the office. Let's check that out. So here's the office area. It's the manager over there working hard. A little waiting area. Let's go talk to the manager. You ain't looking for trouble, I hope. You need to get back to find yeah. one of these days. Biggest town I ever saw. So they have all their filing and communications in here. And you can stop at the gift shop. 
Hey, dude. He has various odds and ends for sale. Before you head out, you can rest up at the lounge. Relax up here, have a drink, watch a show, or you can sit out on the deck. There's a nice view. Oh, look, the provisioner's stuck under the scaffolding. That's pretty silly. There's a little maintenance closet. But if you wanted to spend the night, we have accommodations for you. We even have a restaurant. We'll go see that in a minute. So there's a guard station back there. There's a bedroom for the gardeners and staff. Very basic little room. The guard up here has a good line of sight to the back entrance on the train tracks. Yes. That's the back way in. Ten Pines is over across the tracks. And that guard up there sleeps down here in this crappy little bedroom. He has a dog. He wishes the dog would sleep here on the dog bed. But the dog always sleeps down there in his dog house. Maybe he doesn't like his master. I don't know. There's a couple more guards over there. Look out over the spa area. And they sleep in that little sh crappy shack. And you can come down the walkway over here to the restaurant. Let's see if the cook's on duty. We can stop off and get a snack. We enjoy our snack over here in the beer garden. Get a soda. Yeah. 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 You can sit in here if you want. Pretty good view of the train tracks. There's a little barbecue area. And if you wanted to spend the night, you can bring your kids. We have toys and an arcade. So you can sit and relax right here. Plenty of spots to sleep and kick back in here. A couple beds there. A couple beds in here. We even have hot baths. We have two bathrooms up here. You can get a hot bath. If you bring your kids and they're bored, don't worry, we have an arcade. So you can take this rickety bridge over to the arcade, drop your kids off here, and then go to the spa. Plenty of toys. We even have the basketball game over here. And if you want to go for the deluxe package, you can stay in the suite. That's right, we have a luxury suite. Perfect. And as you can see, we have a Brahmin, so we can make our own Brahmin milk ice cream. And there's a pet deer, a baby rat stag.
You can go down the back way here. That takes you back to the tanning salon. Hey buddy, you're so cute. Hi dog meat. The little dog house. There's the water stuff. And there's a guard station up there. So we've got all this, but they don't have a workshop. Oh no. Where are we going to put the workshop? So we decided to build some steps up to the freeway because they had nowhere to work on their weapons and stuff. <clears throat> up a little. I don't like going slow as a snail. So up here we have your basic armor workshop area. Right here. And then here's the weapons workshop. Work, work. Eat, eat. That's right, dude. That. So get to work. And they have a little bedroom up here in the in the old bus. This was already here. I just added a couple of spots to sleep and hang out. And they can have a snack, listen to some tunes. Another little bedroom here. Nothing fancy. And then back here is a little scaver station behind this. There's our scaver. She's hard at work. She has a bedroom in here. And she dreams of someday getting one of the cars up here to run again. So she's been studying up. Yeah. Good luck, sister. Can you move? Can you move? You're in my way. Yeah, you. So that's it. That's our little fake beach vacation destination. It's not much, but we're proud of it. There's the patio. There's the gift shop. Let me show you the main entrance. That little shack was already there. This is the little shack to the north of Outpost Zamonja that has the upside down refrigerator door. You guys know this place, right? Well, that's it. That's our little settlement. Thank you, Lady Ha, for the challenge. It was a lot of fun.